Communication in business is everything, especially in an interconnected world where business is international. But voice calls, particularly international calling rates, can be extremely expensive for businesses, especially if you need to talk to partners, clients and customers on a daily basis. Now, according to an international telecommunication report, African users pay nearly more than 200% more than the global average of mobile package. This is despite the fact that in the last decade, the global average prices for mobile voice calls has nearly halved. Telcos are making a killing. MTN Group, Airtel Africa and Orange have a total of 412 million mobile subscribers and that accounts for 53% of Africa's total network subscribers. Now, while businesses may have other options for communicating like email, texting, social media, WhatsApp, Skype, Zoom and the rest, Africans still pay up to three times more for data as compared to the rest of the world. And internet penetration stands at 30% of the entire continent. So earlier on, I had a chat with Dean Hine, co-founder and managing director at Talk360. I began by asking him why calling rates are so high in Africa. You know, the regulatory, regulatory bodies in most countries only really regulate the local calls. And you'll see that, you know, making international calls is generally not regulated. And, um, and and that is determined by the market in, the, in that specific country in terms of if I'm calling to a Kenya, how much that will cost will be determined by the market itself, not necessarily the regulatory body. What impact is the high cost of phone calls having on the running and growth of businesses or economic development uh, across the continent? People are doing global business, if you want to call that. Uh, but, uh, you know, one of the means of doing that business is, is communications. And I think that's probably one of the, the, one of the, the, the big costs in terms of doing international business, or even talking to families and friends. Um, and and, and that, that, that in, in the business perspective is that the cost then obviously has, a, has an impact on the, on the bottom line for the business. What do you think should be done to effectively reduce the cost of voice calls across the continent? We're, we as over-the-top services uh, uh, trying to penetrate that market of, of, of international calling. Um, I feel that there should be a, a bit more uh, cohesiveness and collaboration with the with the infrastructure owners, which would in this case be the, the, the network operators. Because, I mean, I think we, we all know that most of the network operators' biggest focus right now is uh, is enabling digital services. And I think there's an opportunity for them to, to look at players like us who are trying to be leading uh, players in the market in the VoIP space to actually collaborate with the networks. Data calling has also grown uh, exponentially of late. We have things like WhatsApp, we have Zoom calls and um, uh, the rest. Um, is there really need for voice calls or is there space for it? Uh, good question. And I think that's, I mean, our business model has proven that there's space for it. Um, and the uh, fact of the matter is that, uh, you know, we, we see that quite a lot is that, especially in Africa, is that, you know, the, 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 the internet penetration in, in, in most countries is not that great. Um, and, and what that does is that, you know, for the, for the data calls that are uh, what we call the free and peer-to-peer -peer services, you require both the user, at the recipient and the caller to have the app and data. And uh, if you are sitting in a remote part of an African uh, 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 city or town, uh, the experience is not the same. So we, we, we are literally uh, trying to fit that gap where we're looking at uh, catering for people to be able to call using the app. Uh, but the recipient not needing to have the app, no needing to have a, a, a smartphone, no needing to have a data connection. And now